Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Have you ever strolled down a street at night and noticed that some street lights cast a warm yellow glow while others emit a cool white light? This seemingly simple difference can have profound effects on our environment, safety, and even our health. In this video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of street lighting, exploring the reasons behind the varied hues and what it means for our urban landscapes. Street lighting has a long and storied history. Evolving alongside advancements in technology and changes in urban planning philosophies. In the early days, street lights were fueled by gas, producing a soft, flickering light. The advent of electric lighting in the late 19th and early 20th centuries revolutionized urban illumination. Initially, incandescent bulbs were used, emitting a warm, yellowish light that was familiar and comforting. However, as technology progressed, so did the types of lighting available, leading to the diverse range we see today. The story of street lighting truly begins with the incandescent bulb, invented by Thomas Edison in 1879. These bulbs became the standard for street lighting for many years. They were cheap, easy to produce, and provided a warm, inviting light. The yellowish hue of incandescent bulbs was due to the temperature of the filament inside the bulb. When electricity passes through the filament, it heats up to a high temperature and emits light. This light contains all colors of the spectrum, but it peaks in the yellow and red wavelengths, giving it a warm appearance. As cities grew and the demand for better lighting increased, the limitations of incandescent bulbs became apparent. They were not very energy efficient, and their lifespan was relatively short. This led to the development of alternative lighting technologies, each with its own unique characteristics. One of the first significant advancements was the introduction of high-intensity discharge, HID lamps, which include mercury vapor, metal halide, and high-pressure sodium lamps. Mercury vapor lamps, introduced in the early 20th century, were one of the first types of HID lamps used for street lighting. These lamps produce a bluish-white light, which was a stark contrast to the yellowish glow of incandescent bulbs. However, mercury vapor lamps were not very energy efficient and contained toxic mercury, which posed environmental and health risks. Despite these drawbacks, they were widely used for many years due to their long lifespan and relatively low cost. Metal halide lamps, developed in the mid-20th century, offered a significant improvement over mercury vapor lamps. They produced a bright white light that closely resembled natural daylight, making them ideal for areas where color accuracy was important, such as sports stadiums and car parks. Metal halide lamps were more energy efficient than mercury vapor lamps, but they still had some drawbacks, including a relatively short lifespan and a tendency to lose brightness over time. High-pressure sodium HPS lamps, introduced in the 1960s, became the dominant choice for street lighting in many cities around the world. These lamps emit a distinctive yellow-orange light, which is highly visible through fog and rain, making them ideal for road safety. HPS lamps are also much more energy efficient than their predecessors, providing a higher amount of light per watt of electricity consumed. This efficiency, combined with their long lifespan and low maintenance requirements, made HPS lamps the go-to choice for many municipalities. In recent years, the landscape of street lighting has shifted once again with the advent of light-emitting diode LED technology. LEDs have rapidly gained popularity due to their exceptional energy efficiency, long lifespan and versatility in terms of color temperature. Unlike traditional lighting technologies, LEDs can be designed to emit a wide range of colors, from warm yellow to cool white and everything in between. This has led to a new era of street lighting, where municipalities can choose the exact color temperature that best suits their needs. 
LEDs work by passing an electrical current through a semiconductor material, which then emits light. The color of the light can be precisely controlled by adjusting the materials used in the semiconductor and the design of the LED. This flexibility allows for a range of color temperatures, measured in Kelvin. Lower Kelvin values, such as 2700K or 3000K, produce a warm yellowish light similar to incandescent bulbs, while higher Kelvin values, such as 4000K or 5000K, produce a cool white light that resembles daylight. The shift to LED street lighting has brought numerous benefits. LEDs are incredibly energy efficient, using up to 50% less electricity than HPS lamps, and even more compared to incandescent bulbs. This translates to significant cost savings for municipalities as well as reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Additionally, LEDs have a much longer lifespan, often lasting 20 years or more, which means lower maintenance costs and fewer replacements. While the advantages of LEDs are clear, the choice of color temperature for street lighting has sparked debate among urban planners, environmentalists, and health experts. Warm yellow lights, typically in the range of 2,700K to 3,000K, are often preferred for residential areas because they create a cozy, inviting atmosphere. They also have less impact on nocturnal wildlife, as many animals are less sensitive to yellow light. Cool white lights, on the other hand, can have a more significant impact on both humans and wildlife. Higher color temperatures, especially those above 4000 K, can disrupt the natural behavior of animals, particularly nocturnal species. For example, sea turtles can become disoriented by bright white lights when they hatch on beaches, leading them away from the ocean. Similarly, migratory birds can be confused by bright cool colored lights, leading to fatal collisions with buildings. For humans, exposure to blue-rich white light at night can interfere with our circadian rhythms, the internal biological clock that regulates sleep-wake cycles. This disruption can lead to sleep disorders, reduced quality of sleep, and a range of other health issues. As a result, Many experts recommend using warmer yellowish lighting in residential areas and limiting the use of cool white lighting to commercial and industrial zones where its benefits, such as improved visibility and color rendering, are most needed. Urban planners must balance these considerations when choosing street lighting for different areas of a city. Factors such as energy efficiency, cost, environmental impact and public health all play a role in determining the best lighting solution. In some cases, municipalities have opted for a mix of lighting technologies, using warmer lights in residential neighborhoods and cooler lights in commercial districts. One notable example of this approach is the city of Los Angeles, which undertook a massive street lighting retrofit project in the early 2010. The city replaced over 140,000 streetlights with LED fixtures, choosing a color temperature of 4,000K for most of the lights. While this decision was initially praised for its energy savings and improved visibility, it also sparked criticism from residents and environmentalists concerned about the potential health and ecological impacts. In response, the city adjusted its strategy, opting for warmer 3,000K LEDs in residential areas to address these concerns. In Europe, several cities have taken a different approach, prioritizing warmer lighting to minimize environmental and health impacts. For example, the city of Amsterdam has installed LEDs with a color temperature of 2700 K in many residential areas, creating a warm and welcoming atmosphere while still reaping the benefits of LED technology. This approach has been well received by residents and has set an example for other cities to follow. As we look to the future, the development of smart lighting systems promises to further revolutionize street lighting. These systems can dynamically adjust the brightness and color temperature of street lights based on real-time conditions, such as the level of ambient light, weather, and traffic. By optimizing lighting in this way, 
cities can enhance safety, reduce energy consumption, and minimize the impact on the environment and human health. The choice between yellow and white streetlights is far more complex than it may initially appear. It involves a careful consideration of factors such as energy efficiency, environmental impact, public health, and urban aesthetics. As technology continues to advance, the future of street lighting looks brighter than ever, promising smarter, more sustainable, and more humane solutions for our cities. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.